Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your September 2019 reading. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. For all of those who have subscribed to me, I welcome you back. Thank you. If you're new to me, welcome. I hope that you subscribe. You double tap that bell so that you get notified of all of the notifications of every time I upload. Someone here may be going through some recovery or trying to recover financially, mentally, emotionally. Um, that was just a quick message. I haven't started with your reading, but I always show you guys those messages when they do fly out. In any case, thank you guys once again. If um, For those of you that did wish me a happy birthday, I appreciate you so, so much. I love you guys. Sending you lots of love. Thank you for the birthday wishes, the gifts, the donations. You guys are the best. So remember that this is a general reading and not all messages will resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and never force a message to apply. Leave it for another cancer or their cross watcher. The answer is yes. If some of you were like, Dang, I hope she, you know, touches on this. She gives me clarity on that. Yes. Whatever you were wondering on, thinking about, the answer is yes. Not just a regular oh yes. Yes, exclamation point. Okay. So once again, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And I changed the format a little bit differently. So if you haven't seen any of my other signed videos um for this month i did split the general with the love life reading i was just trying to test it out because i know so many of you had asked for career and finance and what's what's up with my money right and what are the general energies and so i split it so that i wouldn't be uploading super long videos and i'm doing your love life separately so once i get that this reading done i'll work on your love life reading and i will link it up here so check that out when it is available so this will be for your general career, finance, abundance, you know, all matters of money, finances, and in the home in terms of your general energies. Not so much in the home relationship, but if I do get, um, you know, relationship messages that are intertwined with the financial status or money or abundance or business, whatever it may be, then I will point those out at that time. So let's get to it. General reading, September 2019 for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What is the most important message for Cancer? Look for a sign. Some of you are here because you are looking for a sign. And well, if you're in recovery, especially financially, and you're waiting to find out if you're going to get that job, if you get a call back, if you're able to ever get back on your feet again, the answer is yes. As you recall, that card did come out. So for those of you looking for a sign, we'll clarify that and hopefully get you the clarity that you need. One more card, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising signs, September 2019 communicate clearly so i'm feeling like this is more of a um communicating with your spirit guides guardian angels your higher self when you you know when you are sitting there trying to manifest trying to pray trying to figure out trying to sort your life out trying to figure out what the next step of your life is how you're going to make things work what you're going to do I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I'm so overwhelmed with things in the home, business, finances. I'm so in debt. What am I going to do next? Uh, that is the main message I get here in terms of communicating clearly when manifesting. I am filming this. I'm recording this on Friday the 13th. Always been a lucky day for me. So this is also going to be a full moon release for tonight so if you are burdened by the debt the heaviness the weight that you feel from trying to find your way out of you know that overwhelming sense of debt never trying to you know always trying to make things work out and then always feeling like you can't get ahead of yourself or ahead of the bills tonight would be a very good night for you to you know, sit down and write a list. Yes, I know that's the Virgo in me, writing lists, bullet point, whatever. But really, communicate clearly to your guides, to the universe, to the full moon, spirit guides, and guardian angels. Tonight, I release all blocks of abundance. Tonight, I release all blocks of whatever it is that, you know, you're feeling, right? And you're always going to release what you don't want and then flip it so that you're open to receiving because you don't want to say, I don't want to be in debt. No, you're open to receiving um, abundance in all forms that will allow me to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. 
okay it's it's always you know communicating clearly trying to make things work trying to communicate and trying to learn something new i feel that some of you have been trying to collaborate trying to figure out what the next step the next phase is at home in your business creative partnerships creative endeavors some of you in school you have a group project and you're just like oh my god i don't want to fail this because I've got these two numb nuts with me or, you know, whatever it may be. And why do I have to do the work? Are they seriously not getting it? Um, that is where you have to come up with a plan in terms of, listen, this is what we need to do together. This is your part. This is your part. This is your part. And we put it together. It's the only way we're going to make this work. Because sometimes you need to put your foot down and you have to be the leader. You can't wait for things to you know, kind of fall into place. It doesn't work like that in all situations. It may have in the past. In this case, you're the leader. Yeah, see? Page of Pentacles. You want to make something work. You want to make, you know, you want to collaborate. You have new ideas. You're here offering and you're trying to figure out how can I get these people to understand me? Like, what are they not getting? This is what I want. This is how we're going to pass. This is how we're going to manifest. This is how we bring in the more money, the more opportunities. I just feel like a sense of frustration. But slow your roll, Cancer. Take a deep breath. Communicate clearly. Get very real about what it is that you want and how it is you want to move forward without stressing yourself out, giving yourself a heart attack because you're super frustrated with you know the people in your circle, in your team, in your group whether in school, home, work, whatever it may be. Release it. I feel that frustration. Others of you, this could be, a you know, with your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, you know, a close friendship, someone that you feel, someone that you feel very connected to, that you have a lot of love for them. Male or female doesn't matter. This is someone you care for deeply. You care for them enough to say, listen, let's make this shit work. You and I have great ideas. We can come up with something together. What do you say we start this business partnership? What do you say we collaborate on something? 50-50, um, 80-20, whatever it may be. But let's start putting ourselves out there. And you're the one, you're the one putting forth the effort. Again, that's what I'm getting here. Like you're the one that had to like really put your foot down and like make this happen. Look at that, two hands. But there's a little bit of fear here because this one's overflowing with love. Ideas is what I'm feeling where you have these ideas where you can build so much abundance, so, you know, manifest all these great ideas, but then there's a part of you that kind of scares you a little, and so you put a lid on it. Don't be afraid of your own potential, your own growth. Give me a sec. I had a card play out. Ah, I see. You're looking for a partner that can be equal to you, 50-50. We both give and take the same. We both, you know collaborate we both put in the same amount of work i can't carry this partnership this friendship this relationship if i'm the only one investing in this project in this you know business new beginning whatever it may be that's where i that's where i draw the line that's where i put a lid on my ideas that's where i put a lid on my energy my effort like I said, I was feeling a lot of frustration with this one. Like, what are you guys not getting? I've explained it to you so many ways. And you almost want to walk away with them. I mean, without them and do your own thing. And then you give it one last shot. How are we going to make this business work? How are we going to, you know, create this abundance? How are we going to bring in the money? But I'm the only one. How are we going to make this successful and victorious new beginning business we want the money here, right? But it feels as though only one person, it's probably you, 
it's only one person who's putting all the money, the effort, and you're just like, enough is enough. You're looking for a sign if you should abandon ship or if you should continue moving forward with these two people that you're partnered up with or whoever it is that you're partnered up with. My incense is going towards the camera, so clearly you guys have a lot that you're carrying. It's not going over the cards, it's you. And before I did your reading, I specifically asked for healing because I felt like there was frustration and maybe anger, like you're having a hard time getting people to understand your point of view, getting people to have the same interest in what it is you're trying to manifest. Like we all had this great idea and I had partnerships and we were all going to do this together, but why am I the one doing all the work? Why am I the one who is the most motivated, the one that does want to make this work? Yeah, see? You're the one that's in charge. You're the leader. They've left it up to you to make this work and they're just there wanting to reap the rewards and cash in whatever earnings. But that's about it. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel that there will be a change in your luck. I feel that if you put a little bit more effort into this and you just finally kick these people, these partners, these, you know, people that are lagging it, I feel that if you give them a good kick in the ass and say, look, I'm the one doing everything here. If you guys, you guys say you want in, but you're not doing anything about it, I'm doing in all the work and I've got to pull you guys in to get you to help me when this is a project for all of us that includes all of us that we're each going to get paid for and yet there is no equal give and take because it's my money I'm investing it's my time it's my energy and you guys are just sitting around like I don't know what to do you haven't explained it to us and you're just like the hell I haven't of course I explained it to you guys you guys just aren't getting it so if you're not going to do your share if you're not going to you know take charge in the way I need you to so that you can pull your own weight here then I'm doing this on my own I'm taking my money and I'm out of here. I'm taking my time, my energy, my ideas. You buy them out. You, you know, sever ties, whatever it may be. And for some of you, that's probably going to be your best bet. If this is at work, like this isn't about starting your own company or whatever, but if this is like in a team of people like your team, your office, whatever it may be, your group, your store, in competition with others, but nobody else is pulling their weight. You're trying to stay above the numbers and you know continue getting that bonus and you're just like, well, that shit should just be mine, mine alone. And you don't wanna stop putting in your all because of other people in your team that aren't pulling their weight. You're like, it's not fair to me. But, you know, cancer, it's also not fair that you're doing the majority of the work. Something's got to give and something's going to change. And I feel that the minute you really put your foot down and take control of the situation where you come across as more of a mentor than a partner, like, listen, I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to show you how we get this done. This is how we're going to do things. And you start leading the pack. Things will turn into your favor. The minute you wait for them to get it together and keep up with you is when you're going backwards. Because they're never going to get it. They're never going to get it. Those are people that need to be led. That need to be, you know, put in a place where you got to say, listen, this is what we're going to do. They need to be told what to do. Bottom line, point blank. Not everyone has what it takes to... Not everyone has what it takes to, you know, be independent, self-starters, motivated people to get the same type of outcome that you're looking for. That's the overall message I'm getting here. Yeah, see? So you guys will have a hard time getting along and making things, you know, manifest and work out. However, 
you have the drive within you. Like I feel you're dealing with like this, a very distracted group of people. They're up in their heads, their heads up in the clouds, up their asses, whatever it may be. And you're just like, no, damn it. I'm trying to make shit work. I'm trying to manifest this. Winning at all costs. When are you guys going to get it? And they just don't take it as seriously as you. And that is the frustrating part for you guys. Or for you, Cancer. I do have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't normally check the bottom of the deck. But, you know, look at that. Hmm. Yeah. I usually, I usually don't check out the bottom but this i didn't want to pull any more cards so i checked the bottom so you know you are going to make an offer of trying to you know apologize for your snap judgment for you know this type of frustration that's coming across towards anger you know the more you yell and you get frustrated the less they're likely to work with you you catch more bees with honey so you're just like i give up i want to walk away these people are morons they're not doing anything that they're supposed to how can i lead this group of morons they don't know what the hell they're doing but you've got to wake them up you've got to get them see the bigger picture because you may know the bigger picture but they don't they don't see everything you do you know the big picture. You know what everything is about. You know what's about to happen. What could happen. The results, the bonuses, the finances, the success, whatever it may be. These people are clueless as to whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. You are trying to grow, trying to be successful in whatever this is for you. For your team, for your job, your office, your company, you name it. Don't let your emotions, your frustration, your anger get the best of you at work. Keep your emotions out of work. Try to keep as logical, try to communicate as clearly and logically as possible. Okay? Because you do have a windfall of abundance coming to you in the most unexpected ways. As I said, you grab the bull by the horns. You take initiative. You take the stand here as a leader, as the group manager, lead, supervisor, whatever it is, and you say, listen, you guys are all over the place. We're not working as a team, and the only way we can make this happen for us in a successful way, we can make this work, is if we all work together. Everyone is doing their own thing. That is not teamwork. Why are you here if you can't work together as a team? So focus on your priorities. And that's probably something that you also need to communicate to them in terms of these are the priorities. This is what you need to focus on. Everyone here is distracted. What the hell is going on? And I know I feel your frustration. That's why I'm saying things the way that I am. <laughs> Have courage to ask for and accept help from others. So maybe some of you do need to reach out to, you know, another manager from another store, another department, help me lead these this group of people that just are not focused that are not you know focused on the priorities that are not i just feel like they just all feel so lost like it's like taking out a group of preschoolers and everyone's excited about what's out there the toys you take them to the playground and it's like there's swings there's slide there's a sandbox there's birds in the trees there's grass oh teacher look at this and that's what you feel i feel like you're dealing with like and you're trying to round them up and you're just one person trying to round up these people that's the best analogy i can come up with because i do feel like you have a group of people that is like completely distracted by what like they're just not focused they don't have the same focus or priority or anything that you do give me one sec another card fell see i told you you do have unlimited ideas you do have everything that you need to create your financial abundance i told you this is this to me when I think of it in the career wise it's not just about having a job that you love or something that you're just so passionate about it's an overflow of abundance of ideas that can bring in that abundance last one moonlighting so some of you may have a second job some of you may be moonlighting perhaps in the same field only at a different location I feel that if some of you are working within the same field at a separate location that's not necessarily 
considered a complete conflict of interest, I feel that they're going to want to recruit you to be there and have like this permanent employment change. Like if you're working at two different types of retail stores, but you know, it's still retail, just different products. So there's no conflict of interest. I feel that you'll be valued at the next place or at the second job, the part-time job, the moonlighting job. I feel that that can actually bring in more abundance and less frustration. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel whole. What you feel is the best decision for you. Before I end this, let me pull some angel, I'm sorry, energy oracle cards for Cancer Sun Moon Rising for the career finance. Wow, I'm telling you, first comes out hostilities, right? Which is probably how you're feeling. Uber hostile. You're just like, <laughs> honestly, I picture you with that sword saying, listen up, motherfuckers. <laughs> Excuse my language. If you're new to me, I do cuss from time to time. That's just how I hear the messages. I don't normally cuss very often. Well, maybe sometimes. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just a bit passionate sometimes, but I feel like you go into like a staff meeting or a lead meeting or something like, and you really want to be in there like as if it was you with this sword and like getting everyone to listen. And so some of you may need a, some time to rest and rejuvenate, really get grounded, get balanced, channel those wonderful ideas that are just overflowing grab a journal with you take the time to write down all these ideas right and then you have to take action which i really absolutely believe you will that's what this whole reading is about is that i do believe and i do feel that you will be taking action making the changes that you need to make for that abundance the abundance is coming financially emotionally Career-wise, job, one moment. One more card and then we'll finish this reading. Oh, wow, I checked the time and it was 22-22. So that, that tells me, oh yeah, especially with the broken heart card that comes out. So you might not get the response that you want when you do have this meeting with your staff with your employees with your support staff whatever it may be your coworkers. for some of you within your family there are changes that you want to make in order to cut corners and save money and bring in more money with other ideas other other actions now broken heart doesn't mean you're going to be completely broken hearted especially when i see the cornucopia card at the bottom of the deck but you do need to take some time for yourself to really think about what it is that you want how you want to manifest write down these ideas that you really you know you have these burning ideas ready to manifest and take action you may you may have some disappointing times up ahead, but I don't feel whatsoever that they're going to break you. I don't feel that you're going to be completely heartbroken. I don't feel that you're going to be devastated. I really feel you may be disappointed because the one person you thought would stay on your team probably decides to leave. And it breaks your heart to think that you'll no longer work, work together. Or that maybe they're not supportive of you and of these decisions. I feel like it's that kind of broken heart. Like disappointment. Disappointment in your team. Because you have more motivation than they do. And then you kind of take a step back and look around and think to yourself. Wow. I thought these were my people. And it brings about a time for you to reevaluate who your people really are and whether or not you have the right people on your team that can get you to manifest the abundance, the career changes, the grades you want, the home you want, whatever it may be, the creativity that you're just dying to manifest. 
You're dying to create. You're dying to get out there. I feel that there are a couple cancers here and a small few of you that have such wonderful, great ideas that can get you noticed, that can get you... And I don't mean just noticed like noticed by your peers or higher ups in your company, but like starting something out there, theater, drama, writing, something that has to do with you using your creative mind. Get out there. Animation is the big one that I'm hearing too. Put your shit out there. Literally. Well, maybe not literally. Nobody wants to see shit unless you're into that kind of art. Yes, I called it art. Okay, so <laughs> have a wonderful month of September. I hope to see you guys in October. I am in the process of relocating, so the rest of the readings may come at a later time. Hopefully, I'll get your October readings before October. If not, you should see them the first week of October when I should be completely done moving my butt out of here. Okay, talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.